Welcome to my channel where I bring you lamp working tutorials and demonstrations. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making this adorable little Amanita mushroom pendant. So hopefully you get some good use out of this video. Um, if you do gain something, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials and thanks so much for watching. So here you can see the tools that I'll be using today. I have my graphite paddle. I have a couple of rods of clear glass to use as punnies. I have an assortment of tweezers. I have my marble mold and I also have my reamer. And the colors we'll be using today are this uh, thick rod of jade white. I have a little bit of ketchup, some star white that's been pulled into a stringer already, and then just a five millimeter rod of clear glass for my loop. So I'm starting out here with just a nice bushy flame. You can see I am using the inner and outer flames on my GTT Sidewinder. And I'm going to start out just flicking this jade white in and out of the flame to slowly bring it up to temp. And once it's ready, I go ahead and just introduce it fully to the flame here. Um, you can see I'm holding this handle at the ready as I start to form a gather of the jade white. Jade white can be a little bit finicky. You do want to make sure you have a very soft flame, um, even a little bit on the reducing side tends to help it not bubble. So now that I have a decent gather here, I'm just attaching my punny um, at what will become the bottom of the mushroom stem, getting a good attachment here, and then I'm hitting the flame um, just above kind of the bulk at the bottom so I can pull this out just a little bit and create a little bit of a shape to my mushroom stem. You can see what that looks like here. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'm just going to go back into the flame and go ahead and cut the rest of this rod of jade white right off. You can see just a simple flame cut here. And once I have that removed, I'm going to go ahead and start slowly introducing my ketchup into the flame. Um, ketchup is also a bit of a finicky color. It definitely likes to be worked pretty far out in the flame. Um, definitely also needs a very soft flame, but you want to make sure not to overdo the propane um, because it can cause reduction with this color. So at this point, I'm beginning to create a gather with the ketchup while simultaneously heating up the end of my jade white here. And once I have a good gather, I just go ahead and fuse those together. This is going to give me more control and make it easier for me to go ahead and gather on the rest of that ketchup, uh, which you can see I'm doing right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut off this rod that my ketchup was attached to. So now you can see I have kind of a uh, funky Hershey's Kiss of ketchup on top of that jade white stem. So I'm going to go ahead and reintroduce that into my flame. You can see I'm still working this um, pretty far out in the flame there. And I'm just going to slowly turn and heat that up um, and slowly melt it into a round ball. You can see I did speed up this footage a little bit just to hurry up the process here. Um, at this point, I'm just using my marble mold to help hurry things along a little bit. And then immediately after, we're going back into the flame to continue to round out the top. Um, and I'm just going to keep continuing this process until I have a nice round ball. And here's what we're looking like now. So at this point, everything's looking nice and round and even. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out of the flame here and press straight directly down into my marble molds just very gently to form the mushroom cap. You don't want to push too hard here because that can stress the glass and lead to fractures down the line. So just, you know, easy does it nice and gentle. And at this point, I'm just using the flame to polish off the ripples that are left behind by the marble mold there. So now I'm getting ready to add my dots. So I'm just moving down to only the inner flame of my sidewinder. And I'm coming in with my star white. And I'm just going to use a small detailing flame to start adding dots around the base of the mushroom cap. And I'm basically just adding dot work and turning and adding another dot and then turning a little bit. 
Um, so here I did speed this up again. But basically, I'm going to go around and do a row of dots at the bottom and then another row just above those dots. And then personally, I do also always like to add a dot just right on top in the middle as well. So now you can see we just have a bunch of uh, spiky white dots all over our mushroom cap. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and move back up to using my inner and outer flame as well. And once again, I just want to make sure I have a nice, soft, bushy flame here. And just kind of slowly reintroducing my mushroom back in. I'm going to go ahead and use my paddle to support the cap and keep the heat off the stem while I go ahead and melt those dots in. And once again, these colors do tend to be a little bit finicky, so you want to do this very slowly. Um, try to stay kind of far back in the flame, just make sure you're not boiling anything. And now my dots are melted in, so I'm just using my marble molds once again to kind of even things out here. And you can see here, those dots are looking pretty good. They're pretty flush and even with mushroom cap, um, but I am gonna hit them just a little bit longer. There were a few that were still sticking out just a little bit. And once I'm happy with those dots, I'm moving back down to just my inner flame so I can start adding gills. Um, so I'm using these really small, thin tweezers to create my gills, but you could use a butter knife, you could use really anything that has a thin enough edge to it. So now I'm basically just hitting underneath the mushroom cap with my flame and going in with the tweezers and creating a little indent um, to look like a mushroom gill. And I'm just slowly turning my mushroom and repeating this process and adding gills all around the base of that mushroom cap. And once again, I did speed up this footage a little bit just to keep things moving a little faster than they would in real time here. So once I've gone around the entire base of my mushroom and formed all the gills, um, you can see them a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and start working on adding my loop. So I'm staying on my inner flame here and I'm going in with my five millimeter rod. So now I'm going to go ahead and introduce the tip of that rod and the top of my mushroom into the flame. And I'm just going to slowly and gradually heat both of them simultaneously until they're both hot and melted. Ignore my head here, by the way. Sorry, I know it's a little bit in the way. Once both pieces are ready, I'm going to go ahead and just fuse them together here. And then I'm continuing to twist this clear rod just to add like a decent size glob of clear glass onto the top of the pendant. It doesn't need to be a ton of glass, um, just enough to make sure that you can pull it out into a sturdy loop and that it's not going to be too thin or too fragile. So at this point, I'm just using the flame to cut off the rest of that five millimeter rod. You can kind of see what this glob of glass looks like here. And now I'm just using the flame to melt that in, make sure it's completely fused with the top of my mushroom and kind of melt it into a nice little uniform ball. So now I'm getting ready with my tweezers and I'm going to go ahead and hit that glob with the flame again just to make sure that it's really hot, really movable. And then I'm going to go in with my tweezers and just kind of pull that out into a long thin piece and move that around to create my loop. And at this point, you want to make sure to really hit the part of the loop that you're attaching um, with the flame and saturate it as much as possible. You want to make sure that it's fully melted and fused together and that you're not leaving any uh, sharp edges or cracks. And now at this point, I'm just going back and forth between the flame, my tweezers, and my reamer to continue to shape my loop. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm satisfied and feel that the loop is nice and round and even. This can be a slow process. Um, I'm pretty picky about my loops, so I think it's good to not rush it and just make sure it's looking good. 
So at this point, I am satisfied with how my loop is turning out. So now I'm going to go in with another pair of tweezers and I'm just giving that a quick flame polish here before I grab on to the loop with my tweezers. So once I have a good grip, you can see I tried to uh, snap off my punny here, but it did fuse, uh, no worries, that'll happen sometimes. So I'm going in to just flame cut the bottom of my stem instead. And once I have my cut completed here, you can see that it leaves me with just a little kind of a funky piece of glass sticking off the bottom there. So now I'm just going in and uh, melting the bottom of the stem with the flame and you can see I have my paddle at the ready here and that's just so I can go ahead and pull this out of the flame and just really gently flatten the bottom to complete shaping my mushroom. And at this point it's just one more dip into the flame to just polish any tool marks off of the bottom there. So you can see I'm doing that right now. And we're done. So here's a close up of the final product. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more.